My name is Tony Gallagher. Um, I'm a professor of education at Queen's University, where I've worked for very many years. My main research interest is in the role of education in divided societies, and that's what brought me to the work on shared education with, with schools. Let me start with teachers, because we obviously worked for a long time with schools. Whenever we tried to create these collaborative networks among schools, the, we believed on the basis of evidence from a range of different places that um, if the schools could build this almost permanent collaborative relationship and run shared classes, it would help them give, up, give young people an opportunity to engage much more effectively, but give schools an opportunity to address issues around diversity and division uh, at a much greater level than it ever done in the past. Now, these things have happened in schools, um, and the reason we focused on schools is because they reflect some of the, the structural divisions within our society. If you look at the youth sector, um, there'll be the same divisions basically because of where people live, and the same opportunity is there to try and connect people, uh, to promote learning, to promote better, better opportunity, and also to share experience and resources. What we're dealing with here is our new challenges, and for new challenges you need innovative practice. And the best people here, the people who are best placed to try and identify what that innovative practice are the, the youth workers themselves. They're, they, what they need is time and they need an opportunity to engage with their colleagues to try and figure out, okay, if we want to make this work, what are the barriers in the, in the way? What are the constraints that are operating against it? And how can we overcome those constraints? And then they need to be empowered to try out those solutions to see whether they work or not. If they don't work, that's fine, you learn from that. Um, if they do work, that's great, spread the word around about it and then move on to the next challenge and try that. Another important tip, uh, and this came out of schools and I'm pretty sure it'll be true in the youth sector as well, some of the taken for granted ways we do things, some of the rules that organise the way schools operated, actually got in the way of collaboration and sometimes people said to us, well look, the, the rule is you've got to do this, so that's your problem, we can't, it'll cost an awful lot of money to get around that. The answer to that is to change the rule. The rules were put in place at a particular point in time for a particular purpose, when the purpose and the goal changes, then change the rules, and change, change it to rules which accommodate and facilitate collaboration. Uh, so don't be constrained by assuming that things that are in place have to be there. Change them. Uh, change them in a way that it actually enhances this work.